All right, guys. So, um, I obviously, you guys, if you guys watch my other video, you guys know that um, I uh, bought the uh, DJI Mavic Pro uh, with the smart controller. So, anyways, I had a problem yesterday setting up my smart controller as far as uh, getting the Wi-Fi to connect on my um, smart controller because this thing uh, runs Android, um, just like you know what them smartphones do. So you could actually swipe down and go to the Wi-Fi. But when I try to register my product, it wouldn't work. Um, I couldn't connect to my Wi-Fi. Um, but then I started looking online and other people couldn't connect it too. Because I thought maybe I have the new, um, the AX1100 uh, or 11,000 router. Just the brand new one, the one that has the Wi-Fi 6, the AX, the ones that the, um, the Samsung S10 Plus that one uh has an antenna for so it's like a you know brand new type of technology router most um don't even use the ax style but anyways i try to connect with it and um i would just get the uh nothing it wouldn't connect usually it would show like a wi-fi signal that would show right up here but it wouldn't connect so the only thing that i was able to do now some of y'all might not be able to do it but um you might have to go out in public with your controller and take your drone and maybe leave it in your backpack or something and have it connected. But what I did was um, I had to use one of my smartphones and put put it on um, the hotspot enabled. So I had that enabled and then I try to connect it through there and then it worked. Um, you you guys, if you guys need to know how to do that, you can leave a comment below and then I'll, like, I guess I'll walk you through the process. But most people would know. You just go into the settings and then turn on Wi-Fi hotspot. Then you go into the uh, the Wi-Fi settings here. And then um, you could, like, refresh it by um, pressing several ways to do it. You can press this off and then on. And then your um, Wi-Fi hotspot, whatever it's called, like mine was called the Samsung S10 Plus blah, 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 Wi-Fi hotspot it'll just pop up here once you refresh it and then you just go there type your password in and then you connect it um i heard mo like most uh wi-fi's like now mine has a three channel or something so it has two five gigahertz and one uh 2.4 gigahertz channel um i aggregate them together so uh it only has one channel that shows up which is this one and it's sticks the 2.4 and the two fives together and it kind of just picks whichever one's going to be the better signal your device has um it's not going to work um i thought it was just maybe my wi-fi 6 ax because some of the intel modems couldn't use it until i updated the um the the internal modem on this thing on the uh, on my laptop but on um these devices you can't really update the the wi-fi modem on on these uh devices so maybe i thought that was it but then other people with older wi-fi um devices wasn't working either so um i mean the router so uh i i heard there's a way that it'll work is if you split the 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 wi-fi's like the five and the five and the 2.4 if you go into your settings on the router um you could split them up instead of putting it together there's like a button that says uh split or um, aggregate it together or something if you split it up and then reset this controller like restart it and then restart your modem and let it set and it'll show up and try to connect it it'll work but for me i'm not going to do that just for just to register my controller or update my controller online so i just did a mobile hotspot so do a hotspot on your smartphone then connect to it through here and then um it should work and then just have do all the updates through there um, update your controller through there and once you're done you could just turn it off and do whatever um i don't know man i'm gonna go ahead and you know call dji or send them an email or something to say you know what's what's going on you guys need to update it it's not working it might be their modem inside like a hardware issue i don't know but that's the um the workaround that i found for that all right